Hi friends, I am Dr. B.B. Rao of Putra Clinic and founder of the website skewmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and uh, raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medical. Today, I am going to discuss about the purpurium infection. Purpurial infection is explained as the postpartum infection of the genital tract only and uh, may spread beyond its uh, confines giving rise to various uh, clinical and pathological manifestations. Purpurium is uh, considered as uh, morbid if the temperature is of uh, 100.4 persisting after 24 hours of delivery and uh, within 10 days post postpartum. The causes may be anemia, malnutrition, toxemia, postpartum hemorrhage and other complications of pregnancy. Careless handling during labor, intrauterine manipulations, uh, trauma to genital tract and uh, prolonged labor are also considered. Infection from the throat and nose of the attendant. Virulent organisms in the vagina before the onset of labor. The trauma of labor may encourage this infection from other areas also called endogenous infection. The causative organisms may be uh, streptococcus, may be hemolytic, non-hemolytic, anaerobic and aerobic. Staphylococcus aureus. Bacillus coli, Clostridium vulgare, etc., may cause the infection and uh, may cause uh, spread along endometrial surface on the tubes and ovary and uh, pelvic peritoneum. Via lymphatics from cervical lacerations to the pelvic uh, cellular tissue through bloodstream causing uh, septicemia. Through venous spread, thrombi in the veins may get infected and the infection spread along the venous channels. Clinical features of genital tract. Sepsis of perineum, vagina and uterus may cause a bloodstream infection called a septicemia or a involvement of a peritoneum called peritonitis. Infection in the pelvis may involve tubes, ovaries, pelvic uh, cellular tissue, pelvic peritoneum or uh, pelvic vein. The first symptom is the rise of temperature on the second or third day. There could be rigor and uh, if there is uh, repeated uh, rigors, indicate the bloodstream infection. In local infection, the lochia is profuse and uh, foul smelling, but in uh, bloodstream infection, it uh, may be suppressed. The severity depends upon the type of infection and in hemolytic streptococcal infection, disease is uh, virulent. Temperature is high, pulse, uh, pulse more than 110 and uh, there are repeated rigors if there is a septicemia, if there is a diarrhea, distension of abdomen and a tenderness of abdomen, general peritonitis is sus suspected. Sulpingo uphoritis and pelvic cellulitis occurs in combination. Sulpingo uphoritis occurs earlier except in uh, presence of infected uh, cervical laceration when uh, pelvic cellulitis is uh, more common. Spread of infection to these structures is uh, indicated by pain persistent or uh, increasing temperature and uh, bilateral or unilateral marks in the formices on uh, vaginal examination. Pelvic abscess. Sometimes pelvic abscess may uh, form which burst into rectum or uh, point anywhere along the course of pelvic cellular tissue, usually over the inguinal region or uh, perinephric region. There may be pelvic uh, peritonitis manifested by lower abdominal pain, distension and fever, 
in case it is infection of tubes, ovaries or uh, pelvic cellular tissue. Pyemia. Pyemia is a manifestation of a severe infection of thrombi in the veins. In a common venous channels through which the infected thrombi may spread or, or ovarian and uterine veins. Then hypogastric uh, external iliac or femoral veins may be involved. The infected thrombi may lodge in lungs, kidneys, joints, bursae, and uh, subcutaneous tissue forming abscess. There is high fever, repeated rigor, sweating, and rapid pulse. Investigations. Culture and sensitivity test is performed with the material collected from the upper part of the vagina. In severe cases, the blood culture also does. Catheter specimen of urine should be examined microscopically for pustules and uh, culture sensitivity. In areas where typhoid, malaria and other fevers are pre prevalent, uh, concern tests may be performed. The abdomen is palpated for signs of general peritonitis and uh, vaginal and rectal examination done to identify pelvic infl inflammatory marks. Breast is examined for uh, signs of infection. Treatment. The patient is uh, nursed in a warm and well ventilated room. Good nourished diet is given. As a first consideration, penicillin is started after collection of uh, specimens for culture and sensitivity test. Penicillin is given in large doses of uh, 5 lakh units of crystalline penicillin 4 times a day. In severe cases like Clostridium welchi infection, larger doses may be given. This is uh, one type of infection in which the anti-serum, anti-gas serum is uh, an usual addition. Once the sensitivity test results are obtained, the appropriate antibiotic is employed. Usually sensitive drugs are uh, tetracycline, chloramphenicol, streptomycin, ampicillin, erythromycin, etc. When the infection is long-standing, anemia will develop and uh, this is uh, corrected by repeated fresh blood transfusion. If a pelvic abscess develops and uh, does not respond to antibiotics, it is uh, surgically drained either uh, through the vagina or abdominal wall depending upon the position. Hysterectomy is uh, rarely performed for uh, purpurial infection. Occasionally in severe cases of Clostridium welchi infection with re retained fragments of placental tissue, hysterectomy is performed and uh, good results reported. Hysterectomy is justified when purpurium is uh, complicated by infected fibromyometa or uh, placenta acida. The all about the purpurial infection and in the next video I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.